Two, we'll start with Zach. We'll go to Matt. Let's hear it, Zach. <laughs> Zach, sure. Uh, now start off. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Ty. Thank you. Um, uh, Noah was in here earlier and he said that you raced like a champion tonight and that you deserved it. Um, there was the handshake afterward. What was your reaction to him coming up to you and to him showing some uh, respect after um, maybe some disrespect earlier this week? For sure, definitely a lot of disrespect, but you know, I really respect him coming up and I feel like I've known him for a really long time. So um, definitely some harsh words said, but it's part of it and it's part of the path. Uh, you know, that course that I'm on here. and. Um, I definitely respect him. I feel like we had a lot of great racing with Noah and his teammates as well tonight. So um, thank you to him and, and thank you for all the kind words. Uh, awesome to be able to you know be able to get this championship. There's also a lot of hard racing on the racetrack between uh, yourself, him, and, and Justin. So yep. um, what was going through your mind through those uh, close moments as well? Yeah, I really felt like we put on a good show. So um, I definitely know from inside the car, it felt like it was a lot going on and hopefully fans enjoyed that. That's part of the Xfinity series. That's where names are made here. So hopefully uh, I made one tonight and we'll move on. Right, we'll go up to uh, Matt. Justin, do you have a question? Yeah. We'll go Matt. Yeah. Matt Weaver, Racing America. Um, in this moment where there's lots to celebrate, but there's also a lot of just tension in the air and all the things that's happened the past week, have you fully been able to embrace being able to celebrate and be in this moment, or is it kind of having to balance both of those kind of conflicting feelings, if that makes sense? Yeah, for sure. Definitely, I've made some mistakes in, in the past and, and last weekend, but you know, the best thing for me is to move on, and that's what I did today in, in my race and, and move on. So just moving on and, and learn from my mistakes. I can't go back and change the past, and if I could, I would, but you know, that's, the, that's why we can't do that. And you know, the best thing for me is to learn from it, but you know, to be able to be a champion is awesome. Remember you interviewed me in late model races at South Boston and, and Tri County Speedway, you know, a long time ago. So it's cool to see you and, and just it's 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 really cool. You and uh, Lane Riggs and Lane cool. Riggs, Rusty, Greg uh, Marlowe, Josh Marlowe. Barry. That's right. Josh posted uh, something this morning, so I, I reposted it from five years ago. It's crazy that you know time flies that fast. Yeah, for sure. Um, sorry, uh, because everyone's had very harsh and I guess kind of critical things to say this, this last week. Um, how do you go about now as you transition to what we think is going to be the next stage of your career to, to mend some of those relationships or perceptions? Do you try to, do you want to like interface with some of these people directly or do you just want to let your actions kind of be the, 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 the new normal? For sure. I mean, my actions over most of it is what's going to help. I know people have had a lot of harsh things to say and that's their opinion and you know some of it might be true, but I don't really that's their uh, what they're gonna say, and I just do the best work I can. Let you know my on-track performance show, you know, for that. And if I made some mistakes, and I'm working as hard as I can to fix them, I know I have, and, and that's all I'm gonna do. Thank you. Can't control what they say. Justinbeanojc.com. Kind of Zach's question with Noah coming up to you post race. You know, personally, like how much does that mean to you that a fellow competitor did come up to you and congratulate you? Yeah, definitely really cool. Um, I definitely didn't expect it, so it's cool to have that, and you know to. You know, to have you know, somebody like that show respect is it means a lot. And looking back on this week and the totality of it, you know, we go today with Martinsville. Like, how, how how stressful has it been on you? Uh, it's been a lot, but I feel like going this weekend is I max maximize my compartmentalized compartmentalizing skills and, and wanted to race. So um, it was uh, definitely a lot. Learned a lot, and you know, moved on, and it's been really cool to be a champion now. Okay. Thank you, uh, Luis. Luis Torres the podium finish. Just simply how satisfying and gratifying to be battling with the JRF guys with just respect and admiration, as the drivers have mentioned, that it felt earned that you were the car to beat. Yeah, really cool to be able to race them, and I feel like we put on a great show, like I said, and um, really cool to you know uh, be able to get our team a win. Um, I feel like that they deserve to hold our organization and, and manufacturer. So. Um, it's really cool to be able to race with them like that, and hopefully we put on a great show for the fans, and, and hope, hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Go to Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with the NASCAR Wire. Um, looked like in, in one stage of the race when Noah was ahead of you and Allgaier was behind, that Noah was slowing down in the corner, holding you up a little bit, and trying to get Allgaier to get to your bumper. Did you, did you ever feel outnumbered out there? I mean, we're 25 percent or 75 percent, but that's part of it. And you know, we raced really hard, and, and we were on the other side of the outcome on very 
proud of my team's performance and you know what we did today. Very proud of the pick through and, and you know everybody that's part of this whole situation. Go on the far left and then we'll go over here. Hey Ty, uh, Adam Carabine from RacingRefresh.com. How important was it for you today to run a clean race? And I guess if it had come down to it at the end where you were in second and you know had to go for a Hail Mary sort of thing to, to, to get the championship, is that something you would have had to think twice about or? <laughs> well, first of all, I just, I don't believe in any hypotheticals, but you know, it was very important to have a great race. And like I said, I feel like we put on a great show for everybody. We had a lot of great clean racing and ended up on the other side of it. Go right here. Uh, Steven Stump with frontstretch.com. Uh, Dale Jr. kind of gave the message to his drivers that he want, wanted to race you cleanly. What He wanted to win the championship the right way. Um, going into today's race, were you concerned at getting payback, whether it's from JRM, Jones, or someone else? Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I, it's out of my hands. And like I said, just kept my head down and raced really hard. Um, I respect Dale um, and a lot. And, you know, and, and to be able to have his nice words said to me is, is really cool. Thank you. Come here, Jonathan. John, be able to race and experts. You know, having so many different experienced teammates in Cup, you know, Danny, Kyle, Martin, did you lean on them throughout this week and did they give you some advice that you kind of parlayed into the race? For sure, I've got great teammates. Um, every one of them mean a lot to me and, and, they, and they, I, they've helped me out a lot in my career. So, you know, to be able to have our, our private conversations is really cool and, you know, the end of part on that as a champion is awesome. It just shows, you know, all the hard work behind this organization and they got one more to chase tomorrow. My cousin actually is pitting on the 20, so uh, he's going to go with this first year at the championship for us. So I'm hoping he can get it, get it done. And anything that you maybe heard from them that kind of played out in the race you could apply today? Yeah, like I said, all, all our conversations are private, and, and I enjoy it. You know, every one of them with you know all, all of our fellow teammates, and you know, and it's uh, it means a lot to have great people you know on our side. Do we have any questions in the press box? Okay, we'll stay down here. Hi, Ty. Michael Manny, the lumberjack. So. I love sure this yeah, uh, <laughs> bike step Arizona. I like a lot it. of trees. Uh, I'm sure this. I need to watch out for you, man. Yeah, I'm sure this this has been quite the roller coaster of a week. You know, with what happened at Martinsville. Yep. You've got very tense. You know, weekdays this week, and now winning your first championship in the Xfinity Series. What do you think you'll remember the most about this time when you look back on it? Um, you know, just teamwork and execution and hard work and discipline and, you know, being champions. That's all I'm going to remember it as. It, it's just awesome to be a part of it um, and, and to be a part of this whole crew. I feel like this is a special crew. I feel like, you know, crews like this don't come around that, that often. And uh, to be able to do it and you know, be able to, you know, for me to win my championship, you know, first year, it's really cool and, and it means a lot. So, um, you know, I feel like Xfinity Series does a great job with the race and I hope it never changes. Um, and we'll just keep going forward and hopefully there's more great racing and then all the fans enjoy it. There we go. John Harville with the Circuit Journal. Uh, just how much or in what ways has running cup races this year helped you to get to this point tonight? Uh, it helps for sure. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity from you know Michael Jordan and Denny Hamlin and, and you know everybody at 2311. I'm very thankful for the opportunity. Um, and, and, you know, I feel like it helps um, a good bit, but I feel like, you know, the cars are so different that it's hard to kind of really relate. And I uh, think more of it you get off of is, you know, uh, race craft and, and so what like that. So um, it, it's definitely helped. Back up to uh, Reed. Reed Spencer, next car wire service. Um, given the importance of winning this race and this championship the right way tonight, were there any moments out there on the racetrack where you didn't take a risk or where you may have restrained yourself from making a move you might otherwise have done? Um, you know, I feel like, like, you know, like the JRM guys said, we raced really clean and really hard all day. And there's definitely times that we're both of us, or all of us could have taken advantage of each other, um, but we didn't and we raced really good. So hopefully that puts the uh, iron some respect back and hopefully the fans enjoyed it. Move up here to uh, Tom. 
Tom Bowles from Stretch and CBS Sports. Ty, so much is obviously focused around you know what happened at Martinsville, but you know the stats are clear: eleven wins and fifty-one starts, um, a championship, like you said, in your first full-time season, and you're only twenty years old. You know how quickly do you think you can take that success up to the Cup Series and have you even had a chance to process yet, or just think about? you know, all that you were able to accomplish in such a short time. For sure, I think that comes down to hard work and dedication. I have a love for the game, or the, the racing, and, and, you know, it kind of overcomes all of the, the pains and struggles that comes with, you know, making mistakes in front of hundreds of people at 20 and learn from that. So um, I definitely enjoy it. And, you know, when you enjoy work like this, as you all, everybody knows in here, when you enjoy something, you, you love it, and, you know, there's no motivation that comes with it. If I need motivation for racing, then I shouldn't be doing this in the first place. I don't truly believe in motivation. It's all temporary. Um, it's little bursts that you'll never, <laughs> it's what you got. And I love racing, so it's always everything I can do to get better, watching film, learning how to answer your guys' hard questions, and, and, you know, making the right decisions. And, and so uh, I just enjoy the whole ride. Thank you. Yep. Over here. Hey, Ty. Um, sort of, you know, after such a huge accomplishment like this, winning a championship, how do you go about celebrating, especially knowing that you got to be in the cup car bright and early tomorrow? For sure. You know, at the end of the day, racing is more important than celebrating is, and celebrating isn't going to make me better in the race car at all. So, and I'm 20, so um, I might have another monster and call a night and go, you know, wake up tomorrow and go, you know, have a whole new day, one more race, last race of the year. And, um, with with that, you know, there was a you touched on the noise that you faced it, that coming into the race this week a little bit. Um, how, what does it mean for you as a driver to be able to kind of put your head down, stay focused on the goal at hand, and then come through and execute in a situation where it feels like um, maybe a lot of the odds were possibly against you? For sure, I think it comes down to compartmentalizing your feelings and you know your team doing the same and, and working hard. They're always behind me, and they have you know the they make the, the right decisions. And my pit crew does a great job. I have an awesome manufacturer. I feel like the best manufacturer, and, and Toyota is such a wonderful job, um, and, and all they do. So, um, and, and my sponsors, Monster. I have so many, um, you know, and are safe. But you know, are behind me. Okay, we'll take a couple more with we'll Matt, and then wrap up with Zach. Just one more for me. Um, you mentioned, you know, how long we've known each other. And yep. I remember, like, in your late model days, you were um, way more, your interviews were a lot more natural, right? Yep. And even, like, when you won the Daytona Road Course, I remember your post-race and how can I got all my tears out that night. That's why yeah. it happened to me today. So you, were, you were raw and you were authentic. Yeah. Like, we've made a lot of the media sure. about how you read your talking points now. And you've had to be a little bit more guarded when it comes to your image and I'm wondering how challenging is that part of the band because I think you want to be authentic and natural with us but also sometimes it comes with saying the wrong things and finding yourself in difficult positions so as you you know become a cup driver is that part of the challenge of in realizing how much do you share and how all that works yeah first off you know I feel like for me the biggest thing is is all the stuff I say comes from the heart and you know and the, <laughs> there's stuff that you know, that needs to be brought up, that needs to be said that I don't agree with, and you know, sometimes I don't agree with and won't say it. So, um, personally, just want to say that all of the stuff I say is from my heart. There's definitely guidance. I'm 20 years old in front of millions of people that I'm getting interviewed by, interviewed by um, and people can take that and use it as a completely different way what I was trying to say. So, there's a lot, lot of that, but, you know, it just comes with learning and comes with growing up and maturing and, and you know, having time, um, you know, and, and learning how to handle, hand, handle all you guys. You guys do good. You guys do a good job. <laughs> Good pat in the back. We'll wrap up with Zach. Uh, you talked about maybe having another another monster then heading heading to bed uh, with the cup race tomorrow. How do you plan to actually celebrate this championship, and when when will you allow yourself to really process what happened and what you did? For sure, you know, I at the end of the day, like I said, celebrating isn't going to help me win a race tomorrow or do a great job tomorrow. So you know, we'll put that behind me, and you know, I'm not here to celebrate. I'm here to win races. And, you know, that comes along the way with it. Um, and, you know, I have a great car, great, um, you know, Monster Energy 23, Jumpman, Camry, TRD, tomorrow. <laughs> it's a lot of words, guys. It's a lot of words. Um, you know, and, and so I'm very excited, you know, to go tomorrow and, and to go race. And, you know, we'll, we'll figure that one out next week. Okay, we'll take one more. Uh, Lee up front. What do you think about the blade? Huh? You keep playing with it. It's tied on my finger right now. 
and it's kind of my hands kind of sticky too from the monster so it's like I'm like I'm trying to loosen it up enough to where I feel comfortable <laughs> I've never ever I this is my first ring ever so looks good though you dang it oh yeah all of them now I can give people knuckles and it hurts them not me. <laughs> right we've all been through that all right, Ty. Well, congratulations on the championship. Right. Outstanding season. Thanks, guys. Thanks all year. And good luck tomorrow. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.